Okay, give me that good smile. Good job. Turn. Great job. Cool. Let's take a look at the photos. Oh man, they're a little dark. They're what? all gray. What's going on? <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael. I am a photographer and I'm here with the beautiful Rella and you can find her at... My Instagram is rella.dutson.model and I would love for any of you guys to follow me. Yep, and mine is simple, Michael Black Photography. And today we're gonna to talk about taking photos in the snow and if you've ever had the experience where they turn out too dark, that's what we're gonna talk about. And stick around to the end because I have a bonus tip you're going to wanna to know about. So the tricky part about taking photos in the snow, it's all about understanding how your camera is going to want to expose or decide how much light it needs to be in the scene. So normally cameras want a 50% gray. It wants half of the photo to be white, half of the photo to be dark, and 50%, 50% gives you that gray. The trouble in the wintertime, as you can see, there's a lot of white in this scene. <laughs> and there's only Rella here to give us any of the dark color that the camera's gonna want. So what happens a lot, and this is true with phones or your DSLRs or any camera, is they're going to wanna say, there's so much white in the scene, I need to lower the exposure to get that 50% gray mark. And if you ever have looked at the histogram on your camera, you'll see that. Your histogram is a graph showing how much gray, how much black, how much gray, and how much white. And so understanding what that histogram is doing and that your camera is trying to achieve that, that's the first tip. And there are two methods that we're going to talk about how to change your camera, take control of your camera, so you can get Rella perfectly exposed, but you still get that white snowy scene. The first tip is your metering on your camera, and I'll show this to you later in the video. Cameras can either expose for the entire frame or there's something called spot metering. And spot metering is when you tell your camera only expose, do the, do the measuring for just a tiny spot on that frame. And so you can switch your camera to spot metering and just meter for Rella. And even if your background is all white, you can expose just for her, that help, that's helpful. Um, I use spot metering a lot in the summertime because in the summertime it's really bright, really sunny, and I want to expose for my subject. In the wintertime, we usually have a lot of overcast skies, a very soft light. There's not a lot of hard light. And so in the wintertime, I prefer another technique called exposure compensation. Exposure compensations, when I tell the camera, even though you think you're in the middle, I'm going to say expose for a little bit brighter. And so, or you can say exposure compensation to go darker. And so I'll show both of those techniques here in a moment. Okay, here we are. I have Rella in front of the camera. I got my camera in live view so you can see her. And I'm gonna show you the top of my camera. So as you can see, I have full frame exposure. And Rella's kind of dark right now. I, to get this, and I'll show you how if I were to take a picture right now, there's the histogram. So you can see right there, that dark spot, that dark hump in the histogram, that's Rella. And this spike over here towards the right, that's all the snow. And you can see the snow should be white, but it's kind of gray because there is so much white in the scene. This is the camera trying to balance out the white with the gray. What I really want, I want that white spe uh, spike all the way over to the right. So to do that, I'm going to have to change my exposure. So, so if I, so you can see my histogram, I'm not, according to my histogram, I'm not exposed correctly anymore. And I'm about to stop right there. So that is Rella properly exposed. And now you can see the camera is warning me that the snow is blown out to pure white. 
But that's what we want. That's what snow should be. And Rela is now more in the middle of the histogram. So if I were to switch my camera to spot metering, let's see if we can't get that um, exposure down to the center where it belongs. One second. All right, I've switched my camera over to spot metering. You can see on the icon, it's just a little dot. So now when I come to Rela, I can expose for her. Problem solved. So that's one technique. Let's show you the other technique now. Okay, I've switched my camera back to full frame metering. And this is where I'm going to use the exposure compensation. So that's this button, the plus and minus. And you can see when I hold this down, I now have a scale. And I'm going to say, I want my scene to be brighter, either a third of a stop, a seventh of a stop, or one full stop. And because I know this is snow and I've already measured, a full stop is about what I need in my exposure compensation. So now, if I look at the histogram, the histogram is showing that I'm underexposed. And there we go. Just change my exposure. Take another shot of her. There we go. That's the other technique. Okay, so those are the two techniques on how to help you get good exposures in your photo in a winter scene either spot metering or the exposure compensation. Today we're going to do exposure compensation and now we get to go have some fun, take some beautiful photos and hope you enjoy some behind the scenes and don't forget to stick around for that bonus tip at the end of the video. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and got some good tips and enjoyed the behind the scenes. Um, stay tuned to see the photos. And now here's that bonus tip that I promised you at the beginning. So bonus when shooting in the snow or anywhere really is shoot with a gray card. If you're not familiar with these, it's really just a color reference point. If you've ever seen winter photos and they kind of look a little bit too blue and you're not sure what the color is right, it's so nice to have a gray card or a series. This is a white, black, and gray. And that way when you're going back and editing, you have a reference point and a software like Lightroom even has a color dropper where you can go and sample this and Lightroom will say, oh, that's gray. I know how to change the colors to get rid of that over blue or any colors. And gray cards, they're handy in any environment. Indoors with the yellow lighting or fluorescent lighting out here in the snow, very handy. So that's the video. Um, and now here's what I want you guys to do. Take the tips that we've talked about today, go shoot some photos and then comment on this video or comment or tag us in your Instagram of these photos that you've taken using these tips and let us know how they helped and if they helped worked out for you or if they didn't. So again, I'm Michael Black, Michael Black Photography. This is Rella. Rella.dudson.model on Instagram. Cool. And we'll see you all later.